My name is Gillian Groundwater and I work for Scottish Hydro Contracting. Basically, I left school uh, and I worked part-time from a local authority for two years when I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do for my career. And a family friend of mine, was he lives in like a farmhouse and he was renovating outbuildings uh, and he asked me if I wanted to help him. So I got a shot at joinery, plumbing and electrical and the electrical was the part I enjoyed most. Uh, it was quite simple, it was just running two sockets and a light and a light switch. Uh, but it was really satisfying knowing that you'd done the work, you'd installed it, connected it and then powering it up and seeing the light going on, it was really satisfying. So then from there I thought, well I'd like to have an apprenticeship, do an apprenticeship. So I looked uh, into college courses and stuff and like I looked into the whole thing of how you get an apprenticeship, what kind of steps you need to take and I found that there was tests that you need to set, like entry tests to show that you're up to the standards. So once I passed them, I looked into getting employment, but there wasn't really many jobs going at the time. So I looked at college courses available, and a, a Motherwell College had a course for, it was called the Pre-Apprenticeship -apprentice, pre -apprenticeship in Electrical Installation, which is basically six months, and you get a snippet at what being an electrical apprentice is. So I'd done that for six months, and uh, I really enjoyed it, and then that kind of proved to me that this was the route I wanted to take. So once I completed my course, I then started applying for jobs and Scottish Hydro took me on. It takes four years to train as an electrician. In your first year, you go to college for a month, work for a month, college for a month. In your second year, you do day release at college. In your third year, you do one week's testing at college. And then in your fourth year, you're ready to set your trade test. Right now, I'm in my third year in September. Uh, so I'll be on site for a full year. And then in June, I'll set my inspection and testing week. And then it's basically getting ready for your trade test. <music> Typical working day in my job would start at 8 o'clock. You would probably work for two hours. You would take your tea break at 10. And then your lunch at around about 1 o'clock. Uh, we work in contracting, so the kind of work we do varies all the time. You could be doing wiring, you could be putting in wiring enclosures, a conduit, you could be working with metal, you could be working with anything, so it really varies. And that's another positive about this job, because you never really get a day where you're doing the same stuff. You're always doing different stuff, which keeps it quite exciting. <music> Say the favourite part of my work is when you're given a good job to do and you can step back, look at it and see you've done a good job. So it's quite satisfying in that way. And it's also quite a sociable job. A lot of the time you're working in pairs or you're working in teams. So you're learning as you're working, you're talking as you're working. You're meeting on building sites, you're meeting different people every day, different tradespeople. So it's quite interesting that way. And you have quite a good laugh on site. Well, our company take safety really seriously when the electrical side of things are getting powered up. It's really important that you isolate circuits and you make sure that they're dead because it's not worth getting an electric shock, not just when your company get into trouble, but you could potentially get injured. So it's really easy just to pick up test equipment, make sure your circuit's dead, and then you can work on knowing that everything's going to be fine. Because we're contracting, we could work in any place, any location. I've worked in gas holding sites, primary schools, hospitals, uh, offices, so your, your uh, workplaces really vary which is a good thing because it keeps your job exciting, you're not stuck in the same place all the time, so your work really can vary. Well there's lots of options, uh, being an apprentice electrician, our company are quite keen to make apprentices progress through our company, so you could set your trade test, you could stay an electrician or you could become a foreman, you could become an engineer where you price jobs and run jobs or you could make it through our parent company Scottish and Southern Energy so you could then get a job with them, you could be an apprentice manager one day so I think I would definitely like to set my trade test, get my trade behind me and then maybe try and progress through the company.